I'm ready to assume the role of commander. Chad, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Is the mask gonna work, though? It's time for a new era of Project Zorgo. When is it gonna kick in? You said yes! the, it, it, it sprays a chemical and makes yes! them. To turn good soon, right? Just, yeah, yeah, just hold on, it'll work. Okay. Are you sure you hacked this mask correctly I in, did. Your, in your closet? I've been working yeah. on this for the past three years. Yeah. It has to work. Yes! I'm so glad that all of you are on my side, as long as nobody voted for Peters. I did. Get out of here, just look at you. And stay out of here. No more pizza for you. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah, there it is. It's working. That's the dopamine. Yeah. But it rewarded him for doing something bad. He just pushed that guy, and he got a dopamine hit for that. He That's was rewarded weird. for being it's evil. Weird. Yeah. The dopamine part's working, but he shouldn't have been rewarded for that. It's supposed to be when he does like acts of kindness. We'll reward him, and he's gonna keep wanting to be good. Back to work. We're gonna get started on all of this reconstruction. Go ahead, get started. Congrats, man. So proud of you. Yes. Ah, a little aggressive with the high fives, but uh, do you feel good? Aggressively good. That smoke was weird. Did it make you want to be a spy ninja again? Oh, no, no, no. But for you guys, I have a special surprise. A fantastic gift. Oh. Oh. Just hop in my truck. I can't wait to show you guys. All right. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Ooh. It's okay. hot. I'm going to go inside. You too, Daniel. Allie, you're not coming along with? No. Uh, yeah, I I'll be there in a second. You yeah. single-handedly might be the reason why I'm the commander of Project Zorgo. Oh, no, Every no. commander needs a command desk. Oh. What? <laughs> you should start the air conditioning you in your car. I don't think you guys should go with him. What, do you think he's gonna like drive us somewhere creepy? He seems like a little extra crazy. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's happening, but I don't think we should go. Daniel, why don't you and me go? What? what? It's Melvin, come on, we can trust him. We helped him win the election, now he's gonna give us a prize, and maybe Daniel and I can talk some sense into him. I think it's good, yeah, half of us go. In case Melvin is actually evil and your mask didn't work, you guys uh, save us. We don't have to do any saving, you just stay with us. Yeah. Just a little common if, sense, if you know? If we don't go with exactly. him, he's gonna be sus of us. That rhymes. Fine, but we'll be waiting for your call when you need us then. Shotgun. Oh man, I gotta sit in the baby seat. No, you need to help me get this decoration off. Pull it. Ah, come on! There you go. Thanks, Daniel. Don't worry, I mean, he wasn't even evil to us the past couple days. I've been hanging out with him for a few days, he's fine. My woman's intuition is saying no, but go on. Thanks, <laughs> be said to go on. No! Let them learn their mistakes. Don't be a dummy, buckle up for safety. Melvin, I noticed that your mask had a little like fog come out of it. What was up with that? I don't know. It's probably some kind of cooling thing because it felt really good. It felt like air conditioning? Yeah, like just one burst of air con. Do you know air con? I know con air. That's how Filipinos call air conditioning. Uh. Air con. All right, pull it up. Huge surprise incoming. I'm excited. Uh, to be honest, Melvin, the girls think you're up to something. Yeah, they don't really trust you right now. They haven't trusted me in a long while. Well, can you blame them? Look Maybe. how you've been acting lately. Yeah, but I promise this will make it up. What? What is this surprise? It's gonna be hard to explain. It's better if I just show you. <sighs> Where are we going? A huge surprise. It's mind blowing. It's so much information. Come on in. You guys are really that suspicious of me? No, I don't think so. Let's see yeah. what the big surprise is. Come on in. You first, Daniel. Go ahead. Okay. What the heck? Get in there, Daniel. Whoa. Why did you bring us here? This place was shown to me by Peters and some of the boys. They told me there's some significance to this that relates to Project Zorgo. Is this the surprise? Yes! I thought it'd be like an Xbox or something. There is something in this room pertaining to Project Zorgo's past that will blow your mind. Okay. Okay. 
great. I can't feel. wait. Maybe Regina and V were right about this. Blow our minds? More like he's lost his mind, because I'm not impressed by this room. Yeah. Melvin? Uh, can we go? Not yet! You don't like the surprise? Well, so we should just look around the room and find our surprise? I'm not allowed to be searching through anything like this. Oh. I'm not a spy ninja. You have to be the one to find the clue. You're really good at it. Oh. Thanks, Melvin. What a compliment. What's wrong? What? what did you do okay? Oh, oh, oh! Did you see that? Fog came out. Your mask is lit up green. Oh, I feel great. That felt good when you complimented me? Yes. Like a breath of fresh air. But anyways, as I was saying, there's stuff around here that only spy ninjas can find. You, yes. and especially you, Mr. Handsome Lie Detector Guy. <laughs> Your mask is lighting up green again. Uh, no, you okay, man? How do you feel? I feel amazing! Do you realize what's going on? Regina's hacked mask is actually working. If this continues to happen, he's gonna learn that doing good things make you feel good, and he'll become a good guy. It's like giving a dog treats when he does something good. That dog's gonna become a good boy, and he'll join the spy ninjas again. Looking for clues! Yeah. yeah. This chest piece has gotta be a clue of some sort. What's that sound? Oh, what, what is that sound? Coming from over here. It's coming from your pack, Dan. Your backpack. What's in here, Dan? What I is recognize that? this sound. It's a familiar sound. Oh, what's this thing again? A rogue signal finder. What the heck? Why is this thing going off? It usually means there's like a weird rogue signal going on. Like a hacker signal. Right there. Is it? Uh, it's coming from. Give me that camera, Mel. Uh. Is it something with the fireplace? Melvin, I think, I think it's coming from you. Wait, really? Yeah, stand back there. What is going on? Uh, this is a signal that means usually hacking. Okay, get it out of my face. It's just a mask with a C on it for commander status, you idiot. <laughs> oh, jeez, you okay? <laughs> you okay? Check, check. Why is it red? I don't know. It's, Whoops. It's, how do you feel? That felt amazing! Oh my gosh. Let's find Damn. some clues! Okay, we'll do that. His light came on, but it turned red to represent he did something bad. Why did he get rewarded for doing something bad? No, maybe it was just a glitch. This is weird. What'd you find, Melvin? Nothing yet, but I said I'm not supposed to look for these. It's against my code. Okay, Daniel and I will spread out and find them ourselves. Yeah, I gotta go. Where are you going? I gotta poop. Oh. Before I poop, I was wondering, Chad, if you can help me um, dust my shoes off a little bit. Well, why can't you dust it yourself? Please? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we don't want him sneezing anymore. Fine, fine, I'll dust it off. You can't have Daniel sneezing. Chad, be careful. I don't know what this guy is doing. How's that? A little bit more. Can you get the heels? Sure, sure. How's that? Melvin! Oh! Farted in my face! Ew, what the heck? <laughs> ah, stunk, man. That's rude. Oh, oh. oh no, it's red again. You're gonna get pink eye. <laughs> Regina's plan is definitely not working. The mask is glitched. Hey, yeah, Melvin? You know what's the biggest bridge in the world? What? San Francisco Bridge. It's the San Francisco. Your nose bridge. You big nose? Hey, <laughs> Melvin! <laughs> me. oh. oh, gosh. Melvin, I think you should stop being mean. Uh, there's Just, something wrong here. It might feel good to be mean. It's not really who you are. You're a spy ninja. It's a short-term feel good. You're gonna feel bad in the long run if you keep being me and be funny and nice and yeah. stuff. Yeah. You know? We feel good when you tell jokes and, you, and you, you're funny. You will feel good too if we that, laugh that, at your joke. That's the Melvin we like, the funny one. It is. All right. Let me test something. Knock knock. Who's there? Will Smith. Will Smith who? You were locked in here forever! Goodbye, Spy Ninja! Oh, no! No! It's locked! Let us out, Melvin! No! Oh my 
gosh. He sounds disturbed. There's clearly something wrong with that mask that Regina made. I mean, it was working before. He would give us compliments. It turned green and he felt good. But then your rope signal generator started going off. It got like reversed backwards or something. Well, where did that rogue signal come from? Regina, <laughs> I'll let me call her. Uh, she's got some splaining to do. I don't have any reason. No signal? Exactly. You trapped us in here with no way to escape, no bathroom. We're gonna be pooping on one another. I'm pooping on you, you're pooping on me. I, I don't like the sound of that at all. He was telling us that this room has something to do with Project Zorba's history. That there's something really cool that we could use in here. Let's see, let's see what's in here. Glasses, a glove, a fireplace here. There's gonna be like a weird button or something we can push to get out of here. Maybe there's a key somewhere in here to get yeah. out. <gasps> something in here. What is it? It's a message. It says, on a cold winter's night, cuddle up next to me. Whoever used to live here wants to cuddle up next to someone? Maybe it's a, it's a riddle. A riddle. It's not as easy as you first think. <gasps> a blanket. When it's cold out, you want a blanket. When it's cold out, I, I cuddle up next to... Don't say it. My girlfriend, Regina. Oh. Well, she's not here, so what else could you cuddle up next to if you're cold? A fireplace. Hey! Cuddle up next to a fireplace? Yeah. Sounds dangerous. Cuddle up next to it, Daniel. Okay. Well, probably not really cuddle. Just, are there clues there or anything? I don't know. Oh, Ow. geez, dude. Ow. Hey, a drawer. This. Do you see that? Whoa, that's creepy. Is that the guy who likes to cuddle? Wait, this. What is that? What is that? I don't know, it was in there. This is a picture of... It's Joseph Banks! Joseph Banks, that's our old friend! Crazy scientist boy! The scientist who helped change the Tesla into the DeLorean, but then turns out he just gave us a free DeLorean. He's the guy who talked like this! Remember him, guys? I'll leave a comment down below if you remember who Joseph Banks is. <laughs> Are you screaming at the same thing I just pointed at? You see this thing here? Uh-huh. That? That thing there? Joseph Banks was in this room. Did he used to live here? Does he still live here? I mean, there's a door right here. Joseph? Hello? Joseph Banks? The third? It's your friends, the spy ninjas. I don't think he's here, Daniel. We I think here. we gotta try to get out of here still. This thing, it was in the fireplace. It's gotta be a clue of some sorts. Can I put it on the door? No, that doesn't do anything. We found this by the fire pit. Yeah. It's gotta have something to do with the fire pit, right? Maybe there is if a... we get down here. Hey! Oh, oh Mom! I got snacks, you numb nuts! Let us out of here! Hello! Melvin! What was that? He threw some popcorn in. Why are you trapping us in here, Melvin? I'm busy doing good right now! I guess it's good he gave us snacks. Look, it's already been opened. You tampered with it. If we're gonna be trapped in here forever though, we're gonna have to eat. Okay, let's not eat now. Let's try to get out of here first. Before we were so rudely interrupted, you had found something, I think, with this. If you look over here, this, there's arrows, you see that? Oh, right, arrows. It goes clockwise. So if I stick her in here. Stick it. And then do a little bit of this. Whoa, you hear a click? Yeah, let me keep turning it. Keep turning it, Daniel. I think you did something, Daniel, to this other door. Whoa! Oh. Daniel, you unlocked a hidden room. Joseph, it's Chad Wild Clay and Daniel Gizmo. We're friends. Joseph? Joseph. There's a bed. It's just somebody sleeping in it. Joseph? Old man? No one in here. Weirdest pillow I've ever seen. That's clumpy. There's a bunch of knobs here. Ah, I was hoping this would open. There are these things. Buttons? Yeah, whatever. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? It's a clicking noise, yeah. Clicky. This is something V Queen's really good at. She's good at picking locks and listening for when you hear the lock click. Right there. So I got that one. Let's get this one. 12 o'clock. That's all of them lined up like a safe. <gasps> yes, dude. What's in there? Oh my gosh. Another tool. 
What is this? Ew, what is it? Another masks guy. That's like really, really old school Project Zorgo masks from like the 70s. Oh, what in the world? This is the original leader. I can tell by the gloves. The red and yellow gloves, but that's a different mask. That's a really old mask. We've never even ran into back when Project Zorgo used to wear these masks. This is the boombox guy. If you've been watching a long time, we found a picture that had boombox guy, the leader, and Joseph Banks. They used to all work together when they started a school together for gifted kids. GKC, <laughs> Gifted Kids Center. Melvin said there's a big surprise about Project Zorgo's history. This is part of it then. Maybe we just gotta keep following these clues to find the real surprise. Yeah. This tool has like a flathead screwdriver type looking thing at the end of it. You gotta stick it in something. You're, you're good at sticking things in things. Yeah. yeah. There's gotta be a hole somewhere. Uh, let's see. Hey, <laughs> there's no holes around here. Sorry. There's a telephone right over there. Ew. How do you work one of these things? I think you listen here and you talk in here. Hello, operator? Maybe you gotta activate it somehow. Yeah. I used to watch a show called Lassie. The dog? Yeah. I mean, they had a phone like this. They'd turn a crank and go, hello, operator? Really? Yeah. So where's the crank? Crank that soldier boy, tell him. Right here. It's missing the crank. Could this be the crank, the thing you found? Maybe, I don't know. It may work at least. Let's try it, here, I'll take the camera. Right, which end, this, oops. Oh, perfect fit. Gosh. Joseph? Boombox guy? We're friendly. Whoa, it's so dark. Is it safe to go in here? Maybe there's an exit in there. You go first. Oh, there's a light in here. It's really dark though. Hello? Anybody? What is this, a coffin? <gasps> is this Joseph Bates' coffin? He was buried in his home? Maybe we should open it if there's a dead body in there. Wait, Daniel, use your large nasal cavity to smell. Yeah. You can tell if that's Joseph Banks in there. Let's just open it. It'd be cool to see a dead body. Halloween's right around the corner. It's not for a number of months yet. But yeah, let's try it. Ah! Come on, Daniel. Ah! Yes. <laughs> what is that? Grab it. Maybe it's Joseph Banks' ashes. <laughs> Doesn't open. There's gotta be something else in here. Oh, oh, bada boom, bada boom. Who is he? He's got... Ice cream all over his face. And I recognize the other three pictures. I don't recognize who this bozo is. Fine ninjas at home, leave a comment below if you know who this is. Another little twerp. Another person. Who in the world is that? Let's get out of this creepy dark room, Daniel. Uh, ah, this makes no sense, Chad. We gotta figure a way out of here, man. Two hours later. Uh, Come on, Melvin. Let us out. Dude, I gotta pee. Ah, Don't pee in here, Daniel. It's gonna smell bad. I'm gonna pee in the corner. Please don't do that. We gotta get that mask off of Melvin. The mask is ruining him. How do we do that? We gotta get him to come in here somehow. We'll trick him. You know what, Chad? What? Melvin likes to do bad things. It makes his mask turn red. Yeah. It makes him feel good. What if I tell him, you wanna feel good, Melvin? Come in here and beat me up. It's gonna hurt, though. Maybe just a couple more slaps or something. He's always like, ah, ah. Once he bends over, we'll push him into that room right there. And then we'll make our escape. I'm to sacrifice my beautiful face. Oh, thank you, Daniel. Hey, Melvin, I know you're out there. No. Listen, Melvin, you want to feel good? Yeah. Come in here and, and, and beat me up. Give me some slaps. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Come on in. He's that addicted. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. You mean it? It won't be serious, it's just for fun, okay? It's all fun and games, but the more you do this, the more you're gonna be addicted to it, you're gonna become evil. Let me just slap you one more time. Your face feels good against my hand. Just one more time, please. Okay. Slap me. Oh my gosh. Friggin' face, both cheeks. We didn't get the mask off of Melvin though. Yeah, but at least he's trapped in that room. Melvin! Whoa! Melvin, Melvin stop, stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Daniel's allergic to getting slapped. You hit my nose. It's hard not to hit it. Hey, Melvin, quit being mean, man. Those chemicals are getting to your head. Oh. Just take the mask off. No, this has nothing to do with the mask. This is all about me. If you want this mask off my face, too bad, because it's never gonna happen. Hey, hey get him. Melvin. He's too fast, man. Let's meet up with V and Regina. Hunt him down, flank him, take the mask off, slap it off of him like he slapped Ooh, me. Oh, he deserves that. It's a good idea. I think I got a signal now. V, Regina, we're coming home. And we gotta get Melvin together as a team. Tomorrow on V's channel, we're slapping that mask off of Melvin. Yeah. Let's do a kick bump. Five ninjas, kick bump.